Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Going to the Mountains Conversation Cheat Sheet. You'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for hiking and camping with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say common goals like read more, save money, and learn a language. Fourth, the Winter Words and Phrases Writing Workbook. You'll learn over 60 words and phrases for the winter and holiday season and practice writing them with this printable PDF writing workbook. Download it for free right now. Fifth, must know email words and phrases. Learn how to say email, reply, spam, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the Innovative 101 app, you learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers in our complete language learning program, get 55% off 24 month premium with our extended holiday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi guys, it's Ling again. Welcome back to VietnamesePod101.com, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Vietnamese. Uh, in this video today, I'm going to share with you the top 10 Vietnamese singers. Let's see how popular they are. Sơn Tùng MTP Sơn Tùng MTP's real name is Nguyễn Thanh Tùng. The singer born in 1994 was soon attracted to hip-hop like many other young people. With a desire to become a singer, his passion has prompted him to find his own way. He went to Hanoi to attend vocal and rap courses. He also joined the underground community with other singers like LK and Jan Secker at this point. Sun Tung has become the most sound after singer at the present time with a huge fan base and a respectable record. Noi Nai Ko Anh, published 3 years ago with 263 million views so far, has become the most viewed song of Sun Tung at this moment. Now let's practice the song name. Noi Nai Ko Anh Nơi này có anh Bích Phương Ten years ago, Bích Phương joined Vietnam Idol when she was 21 years old and it was a big milestone to help her become a singer. In 2011, Bích Phương became a phenomenon when her song Có khi nào rời xa continuously appeared on the music charts and attracted many views and downloads on live music sites. Along with the music going like the wind, Big Phương's fashion sense has changed dramatically. Recently, her music products such as Gửi Anh Sa Nhớ and Bao Giờ Lấy Chồng are to create a beautiful impression to the audience not only by her voice but also by the collection of her eye-catching vintage fashion collection. One of her most successful songs is Bùa Yêu Eric Eric's real name is Lê Trung Thành. He's a talented singer and dancer. Eric joined the Voice Kid Vietnam in 2013, and then became a member of Monster Group. In addition, he has won four nominations at the Contribution Award and is the only artist nominated for the category New Artist of the Year twice. In 2016, Eric published a song named Sao Tất Cả winning many awards in Vietnam, and up to now, the singer has owned a series of hit songs as well as his fans love. One of his most famous songs that is known all over the world is Gen Co V, collaborated with Min, who is also a young star in Vietnam. Min Min is one of the favorite young female singers of V-pop today. Her personal page has more than 300,000 followers, her fan page attracts 1.2 million likes, and she also has an Instagram account with 1.5 million followers. Đừng yêu nữa, em mệt rồi. It means one of the most viewed songs. 
With a very nice and girly melody, this song has reached 115 million views on YouTube and has become one of her most successful songs up to now. Đức Phúc Đức Phúc comes from a family with no artistic traditions, but with his passion for singing, this young guy officially started his own career after becoming the winner of The Voice Vietnam in 2015. Đức Phúc has his own warm, powerful and inspiring voice. After a huge plastic surgery that completely changed his appearance, Đức Phúc has become more and more sound after, not because of his new look but also his incredible vocal. Hết thương cạn nhớ is one of Đức Phúc's best songs. Hết thương cạn nhớ. Nu Phúc Thịnh. Before becoming a singer, Nu Phúc Thịnh used to model for a magazine. After that, he fell in love with singing and became a famous singer with a strong fan base. Being a very successful singer for 10 years, Nu Phúc Thịnh also participated as a coach in The Voice Kid Vietnam. Mãi Mãi Bên Nhau is one of his most famous songs so far. Mỹ Tâm Mỹ Tâm started her singing career in 1999. Despite going through many ups and downs, with her extraordinary efforts, she has always been one of the leading singers in Vietnam and is loved by many Vietnamese people. Aside from singing, she also experimented with the role of a musician. She is also a coach for Vietnam Idol and The Voice Vietnam, one of her best songs, Đừng Hỏi Em. Hồ Ngọc Hà Hồ Ngọc Hà was born in 1984 in Huế. She is definitely a Vietnam superstar. Hồ Ngọc Hà started with her modeling career. In 2003, she started singing and with her tireless efforts, she has achieved great success in her career with many hits. Cả Một Trời Thương Nhớ is the song in which she first worked with an actor named Kim Lee, who is now her husband. She gave birth to twins not long ago and um, maybe this is like one of her best songs so far. Hiền Hồ Hiền Hồ is a young singer who won the runner-up in The Voice Vietnam when she was 20 years old. The talented singer pursues ballet music with a lyrical melody that makes millions of people emotional. Hiền Ho's strong and emotional voice has helped her have many hits. Not only having a passion for music, this talented young singer is also a fashionista. With a slender style and a diverse mix, every time the female singer appears, it attracts everyone's eyes. Chúc Nhân Chuk Nhan has a very special strong voice. He has a kind of freakish performing style with a very different musical personality. Although not regularly having new songs, each song of Chuk Nhan has continued to become a hit when first released. Chuk Nhan's songs have mostly bright melodies with extremely interesting and funny mixes. He sometimes even uses his music to reflect some social um, phenomenon. One of Chuk Nhan's best songs is Sáng Mắt Chưa. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe the channel and visit the website VietnamesePod101.com for your free lifetime account right now. Get your real lessons by real teachers. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in the next one. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại. Xin chào các bạn, Linh đây. Hi guys, it's Ling. Welcome back to VietnamesePod101.com, the fattest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Vietnamese. Uh, in this video today, I'm going to share with you the top 10 popular books in Vietnam. 10 cuốn sách nổi tiếng nhất ở Việt Nam. They are loved by a lot of Vietnamese people. So if you are a book lover, keep watching. Bến không trồng, tác giả Dương Hướng. The Vietnamese novel Bến Không Chồng, written by Dương Hướng, was awarded by the Writers' Association in 1991. It was set in the context of East Village, a village characterized with typical North culture. The plot revolves around the return of Vat, a soldier in his hometown, East Village. 
The brave soldier returned in peacetime but could not integrate into the normal rhythm of life. He still maintained his soldier style to lead the village community. He couldn't cross the barrier to come to Miss Nyan. Then life pushed him and two women in his life to drastic choices. Um, the women in the East Village each seek happiness in their own way, but the war and so many mistakes in um, their thoughts have followed them forever. At the Bin Hong Chum, which subconsciously was both tangible and persistent. Đất rừng phương Nam, tác giả Đoàn Giỏi. The story talks about a young boy who was lost during the French War in the south of Vietnam to introduce southern forest land. The place, which is a land of great wealth, is famous for generosity and majesty, with middle-class people who are brave and wholehearted towards the resistance. The Zeng Phương Nam of Đàm Giỏi is like a society in the River Delta because throughout the book, readers can see the images of the southern people from the River, Hot River, uh, stretching to Kinh Giang, Rạch uh, Giá, down to U Minh Forest, then stopped at Nam Can Cà Mau. Uh, the Zeng Phương Nam is one of the best and most unique Vietnamese novels that you should not miss. This book has also been made into a movie and has become one of the most popular films in Vietnam. Mắt Biếc, tác giả Nguyễn Nhật Ánh Mắt Biếc is written by Nguyễn Nhật Ánh, which belongs to his series of stories about the love of teenagers along with books like Thằng Quỷ Nhỏ or Cô Gái Đến Từ Hôm Qua. Uh, this is considered one of his main works. Uh, Mắt Biếc once was translated by Miss Kato Sake for introduction to Japanese readers and to tell the stories of the main character named Nga. Nga was born and raised in a village called Do Do, uh, also the hometown of Nguyen Nhật Ánh, the author. Uh, growing up with Nga is a beautiful-eyed neighbor named Hà Lan. The childhood of Nga and Hà Lan is associated with many sweet memories. Also, the movie Mắt Biếc, which is based on this book, was uh, one of the most popular movies in Vietnam, which was shown recently. Thời xa vắng, tác giả Lê Lưu uh, Thời xa vắng was a typical Vietnamese novel in the career of writer Lê Lưu. The work contains a large amount of the 30-year historical country, from the founding to the liberation of the entire country. His story is generalized in a novel through the fate of farmer Zhang Ming Sai, who is well educated and is the hope and pride of the whole family. But that same pride has also placed on the young Sai's shoulders an invisible pressure. Uh, he always has to learn uh, how to do what everyone around thinks is the best. Uh, even getting married or sleeping with his wife are also controlled by his mother to avoid disgracing family reputation. Being a soldier with a rough and dry appearance, the inner nature of Sai is a person struggling with the desire to love and to live with his true feelings. Cánh đồng bất tận, tác giả Nguyễn Ngọc Tư Cánh đồng bất tận includes the best and latest stories of writer Nguyễn Ngọc Tư. This work has caused a stir in literary life because people find their first life of the countryside through the thoughts of a girl. The tragedy of lost loneliness is pushed to the end, making readers sometimes feel a heartache. Cánh đồng bất tận has received positive feedback from readers. The book has become a publishing phenomenon in Vietnamese literature, with 108,000 copies sold as um, of 2010, especially after the film based on the story of the same name was released in the same year. Tuổi thơ dữ dội, tác giả Phùng Quán uh, Tuổi thơ dữ dội is an eight-part story worked by writer Phùng Quán. Uh, the story was started at Westlake in 1968 and completed in the brass tent in the middle of Tinh Tâm Lake in 1986. Uh, the story revolves around the fighting life and uh, sacrifices of 13 and 14 year old teenagers in the youth scouting team of uh, Regiment Trần Cao Vân. Uh, Tuổi Thơ Dữ Dội is a book that not only contains a touching story, but is also very witty and intelligent. 
Uh, I believe that tuổi thơ dữ dội is a great material to educate today's children about um, patriotism as well as good and rare moral qualities. Tắt đèn, tác giả Ngô Tất Tố It can be said that Tắt đèn is the most successful work of Ngô Tất Tố. Uh, the author was successful in creating the character of Thị Dậu, Dậu Sister. Uh, a person who represents the beauty of the soul of Vietnamese women at that time. Thị Dậu is ready to sacrifice everything for her family, although life events are always permanent, but her will is resilient. She still shines under the oppression of semi-colonial and photo society. Tắt Đèn has been made into a movie called Thị Dậu and has become one of the classic Vietnamese movies. Số đỏ, Vũ Trọng Phụng Vũ Trọng Phụng is known as the king of the reportage in northern Vietnam, so his works reflect the reality very deeply. Um, Số đỏ is one of the most uh, famous books of um, Vũ Trọng Phụng. The book talks about Xuân, a guy with red hair caused by the weather who has a very lucky life. Uh, from being a doctor, a professor, to getting married to Bích Tuyết, Uh, Sun was denouncing an affair, sacrificing himself for the country and being awarded the Medal of Betrayal of the North, a hero of national salvation. That is weird, right? Because he was nothing from the beginning. Um, all those events in his life happened due to the lack of understanding of people in that period. Gió đầu mùa, tác giả Thạch Lam Thạch Lam's talent is to tell very simple stories, but sometimes people accidentally recognize the familiar life images around them so that they can calm down in a moment. Uh, Gió lạnh đầu mùa is a collection of such short stories by Thạch Lam. The main characters in these short stories can be um, a promising young man with no sense of love, or the children who are afraid of being scolded by their mother yet still share what they have with others who need more. Um, Thạch Lam always writes about his characters affectionately, showing his compassion for their suffering lives, those at the bottom of the society and being despised by people. Những ngày thơ ấu, tác giả Nguyên Hồng uh, Nguyên Hồng, uh, an author who has let viewers feel the difficulties Uh, innocence, the opposites, the mentality of the main character vividly. Uh, at the same time, Nguyen Hong also uh, criticized the traditions that tortured the character's mother uh, so that he had to be separated from her for a while. The author has shown sympathy with the character Hong's grandmother and aunt. His grandmother and aunt are not guilty. Uh, in conclusion, the author's childhood could not have been so beautiful and colorful if deep inside the author did not have available uh, pride and infinite love for the past like that. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn Vietnamese in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way, go to VietnamesePod101.com to get access to your free lifetime account right now and get your real lessons by real teachers. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại! Hi guys, it's Ling again. Welcome back to VietnamesePod101.com, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Vietnamese. Uh, in this video today, I'm going to introduce to you the top 10 reality or TV shows in Vietnam They are all loved and receive a lot of support from Vietnamese people. So let's see what they are. Thách thức danh hài Thách thức danh hài is a comedy show where people who come to the show have to make the two judges who are also famous comedians laugh in 60 seconds. Thách thức danh hài has now had three seasons with millions of fans and this is also my favorite show. It's just so so funny, trust me. Ơn rồi cậu đây rồi Ơn rồi cậu đây rồi is originally Thank God You Are Here. This is also a comedy show shown every Saturday and has become every Vietnamese family's friend. In Ơn rồi cậu đây rồi Some celebrities are invited to perform in an unpredictable situation that they will have to deal with 
and try to make it funny, which actually causes a lot of hilarious scenes. Người ấy là ai? Người ấy là ai is the most famous show in Vietnam which is hosted by Trần Thành, who is the most popular MC, and Hương Giang, a transgender, who is the winner of Miss International Queen 2018 in Thailand. Uh, this show is a chance for a single lady to find a single guy among five handsome and talented ones. Although it's just a dating game show, it has given the audience a lot of emotions since a lot of people came to the show and shared their stories. Chạy đi chờ chi Although there has been the first season only, Chạy đi chờ chi has become one of the most popular reality shows after the success of the original Running Man. In the first season, all the celebrities had to overcome a lot of tough challenges which were extremely hilarious due to their talents as well as their creativity. Giọng hát Việt Giọng hát Việt, The Voice Vietnam, the biggest singing show up to now that has helped a lot of talented singers come closer to the audience. Also, the coaches who are also superstars in Vietnam is one of the reasons for this show's success. Siêu trí tuệ Việt Nam Siêu trí tuệ is a Vietnamese show to find extraordinary Vietnamese talents. In order to have such a show, the organizers had to prepare for three years from brainstorming ideas, searching and introducing talents. The success of the show has proved that Vietnam has a lot of talents that need to be found and trained so that they can help Vietnam become a more developed country. Tôi là Hoa hậu Hoàn Vũ Việt Nam Tôi là Hoa hậu Hoàn Vũ Việt Nam is the first published version of the Vietnam reality television program of the Miss Universe Vietnam contest to challenge contestants forging practice skills through different challenges. Điều ước thứ bảy. Not only is Điều ước thứ bảy a charity show, but it also appreciates humanity and includes a sense of entertainment that attracts television audiences every Saturday. Điều ước thứ bảy has helped a lot of people in need to provide Vietnamese people optimism, the motivation to try harder, and also an appreciation for good things in life. Thương vụ bạc tỷ Thương vụ bạc tỷ is a Vietnamese version for the famous Shark Tank show exclusively for Vietnamese startups. The show inspires entrepreneurial players to give presentations on their unique products to investors, narrating the negotiation process to convince them investing in their business projects. The sharks are people with a certain vision and influence on the Vietnamese markets. Thương vụ bạc tỷ is an opportunity for entrepreneurs to present and show their capability and potential, as well as to receive valuable advice from Vietnamese giant sharks. It's very rare that an economic show is both stressful yet humorous and receives a lot of support from the audience like that. Sasuke Vietnam When it comes to programs that promote sports and health, Không giới hạn Sasuke Vietnam is one of the most popular shows today. Không giới hạn Sasuke Vietnam produced by Vietnam Television, copyrighted from TBS Japan Television Sasuke program, started on June 18, 2015. To create challenges for candidates, Không giới hạn Sasuke Vietnam has the largest investment budget ever. The stage for the final round of Sasuke Vietnam costs about 16 billion Vietnam dong, built at the 20,000 square meter studio in Bình Dương, Using up to 220 tons of steel to erect challenges, especially Midoriyama Tower up to 30.6 meters with game design supervised directly by Japanese experts. To serve the recording, 19 cameras were mobilized 
250 people work together in the pig face. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe the channel and visit the website VietnameseSpot101.com to get access to uh, your free lifetime account right now and get your real lessons by real teachers. Thank you so much for watching this video again and see you in the next one. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại! Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to learn a language in 2022. If you're planning to learn a language in 2022, then this episode is for you, especially if you want to finally succeed with your New Year's resolution, instead of failing or giving up in the next week or two. That's why today you'll discover, one, the four critical steps you need to take when learning a new language, and two, how to set goals and New Year's resolutions that won't fail you in 2022. How to learn a language in 2022. Part one, the four critical steps you need to take when learning a new language. Every time you start a new language, you should start with one, goals, two, anchor points, three, grammar, four, reading. What are these four steps and why do you need them to succeed with language learning? Let's jump in. The first one is goals. Everything starts with a goal, but your goal itself can also lead you to failure if you don't set it the right way. So more specifically, you need to set small, measurable monthly goals instead of just, I want to learn a language and be fluent this year. We'll cover goals in the second part of this episode, so stay tuned. After goals, the second step is setting anchor points. What are anchor points? Imagine a small ship in the middle of a big lake. It's windy, lots of waves, and the ship is bobbing up and down, drifting all around. What would you use to stop the ship from drifting away? An anchor. And just like an anchor keeps the ship in place, anchor points keep you from drifting away from your language. So an anchor point is a connection to the language that keeps you attached to the language and motivated to learn the language. One great example is language school. Imagine you signed up and paid thousands of dollars up front. Paying that much would motivate you to make the most of your time there. It's also a big commitment, one that you can't easily back out of. And school dictates your schedule. You have to wake up early, you have to do homework. Your life revolves around the classes. And as such, language school and the language itself become anchor points that your life revolves around. Anchor points can also be family or a partner that speaks the language you're learning. You're around them, you're exposed to the language, so your motivation to learn gets a bit stronger. Buying a language learning program or textbook are also examples of good anchor points. You invested your hard-earned money, which means you're serious about learning. Plus, you want to make sure your investment doesn't go to waste, so you're more motivated. If you're wondering if you have any anchor points, you already have at least one. You're watching our lessons on YouTube, but the more anchor points you have, the stronger your motivation will be. So if you're into music or TV shows in your target language, those can serve as anchor points too. These are things that connect you to the language and add a bit of motivation to learn more, or at the very least, understand what you're watching or listening to. We covered goals and anchor points. What's next? The third step is you must have a good grasp of grammar of your native language. Now, you might wonder, if you're learning a new language, why focus on your native language? Well, as native speakers, the problem is we know what good grammar sounds like, but we can't explain how or why our language works the way it works. So if you don't have a good grasp of grammar, the backbone or the rules of a language, then you'll have a tough time learning a new language. You'll jump in and start learning words and phrases, but you'll never learn how to put them together and make sentences. That's a common problem beginners have. Now, if you already know the grammar of your native language, how do you apply that to your target language? For example, if you're an English speaker, and if you know that English sentences follow the subject, verb, object pattern, and if you know that languages have specific sentence patterns, then you'd go look at patterns. Then, you'd have a good idea of how to create your own sentences, instead of learning random words first. Finally, the fourth step is reading. Reading is good simply because you can do it anywhere, anytime, and without a teacher. 
it's a skill you can get started on, on day one, on your own. Reading also tends to spill over into other areas. The more you read, the more words and grammar rules you come across, so you boost your vocabulary and grammar, which can seep into speaking and listening. If you read out loud, you're practicing two skills at once. Now, we've covered what you need. Goals, anchor points, reading, and grammar. Setting anchor points, knowing your own grammar and reading are simple enough, but how do you set goals that don't lead you to failure? Part two, how to set goals and New Year's resolutions that won't fail you in 2022. The goal that you set can make or break your language learning journey. So setting the right goals makes all the difference between success and failure. Just think about all of the common New Year's resolutions. What comes to mind? Goals like, I wanna be fluent someday. I wanna speak the language. I wanna lose weight. I wanna save more money. These big, vague goals often lead to failure because you simply have no idea how to approach the goal and you don't know what you're aiming for. Instead, your goals should be small, measurable, and monthly. For example, speak one minute of conversation by the end of the month. Learn 100 words by the end of the month. Finish chapter one of your language textbook by the end of the month. If you're using our program, finish 20 audio lessons by the end of the month. All of these are small and specific. One minute, 100 words, one chapter, 20 audio lessons. This means that they're easy to reach, unlike something vague like fluency. They're also measurable. You know when you reach one minute. You can check if you know all 100 words or if you finished all 20 lessons. If you aim for fluency, you won't know when you hit it. It's too vague and too big of a goal, and it may take years to hit. Finally, all of these goals have a deadline, the end of the month. That would mean January 31st of this year. Deadlines give you a clear date to aim for, and without one, you'll forever be floating around without much progress. So set a deadline for the end of every month. So now that you know how to set small, measurable monthly goals, leave us a comment. What's your small, measurable monthly goal? And what's the deadline? So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to learn a language in pairs. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You want to learn a language and succeed, right? But where do you start and what do you do? There's grammar, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So much to do and no clear pathway to follow. And it can feel overwhelming, right? But what if you had a clear step-by-step -step path of lessons that taught you everything you needed to know and took you from absolute beginner to advanced and all you had to do was just follow the pathway? Well, you can do just that with our recommended learning pathway. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. So, how does our recommended pathway help you learn the language fast? One, you get a clear starting point. With any goal you have, it's important to know where to start and what steps to take. Otherwise, you quickly get discouraged. So that's where our recommended pathway comes in. The pathway is simply a collection of audio and video lessons to learn with and assessments that test you on what you've learned in the last few lessons. So you get a clear step-by-step -step pathway of lessons laid out for you. Just follow the pathway, complete the lessons, do the assessments, and that's it. You'll find the recommended pathway on your dashboard and in the lesson library. Two, you get lessons that are right for you. When you sign up and set your learning level, whether absolute beginner, intermediate, or advanced, we give you a level-appropriate pathway. There's level one for absolute beginners, meaning you have no experience. Level two for beginners with some experience and all the way to level five for advanced learners. So your learning experience is tailored to you and where you are in your journey. Three, you can level up your language skills. Instead of wondering if you're improving, how? As you're going through the pathway, you're constantly learning with the lessons and you're constantly getting tested on what you've learned with our lessons and multiple choice and hand graded assessments. You'll find the assessments peppered throughout the pathway after every few lessons. 
And once you're finished with the level one, absolute beginner path, we give you beginner, level two, then intermediate, level three, and all the way up to advanced. Four, you can easily stay on track and reach your language goal. Sticking with goals can be hard, especially when you don't see a clear path from where you are to where you want to be. But with the recommended pathways, you get a clear step-by-step -step pathway of lessons. All the lessons are laid out in front of you. Just do one lesson a day and follow the path until the end. By the end of that pathway, you'll level up your language. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with language learning and if you just want one clear pathway to follow, take advantage of our recommended learning pathway. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Want to learn your target language with our learning program? Wondering which plan to choose? Today, you'll discover how our Premium Plus plan helps you master the language with complete access to our self-learning program, as well as one-on-one -on -one access to your own teacher, language assessment, and ongoing assignments. But first, if you don't have access to our language program, sign up for an account right now. Just click the link in the description to get started. Now, how does the Premium Plus plan help you learn a language faster? One, you get complete access to our self-learning program, which includes audio and video lessons, app access, and over 15 premium study tools, such as my flashcards, the voice recorder, and line-by-line -line dialogue breakdowns. So, when you sign up and set your learning level, we give you a pathway of lessons that you can take anywhere, anytime with our app or on your computer and extra study tools to help you master the lessons and retain the language. But if you're the type of person who learns better with a teacher, or if you just want to get feedback, then you can get just that with the Premium Plus plan. Two, with Premium Plus, you get one-on-one -on -one access to your own teacher, whom you can learn from at your own pace, anywhere, anytime, without being bound to the teacher's schedule. So, when you log in, look for the My Teacher Messenger on the site or access it inside the app. With the My Teacher Messenger, you can interact as much as you want with your teacher and ask language questions, practice writing, and get corrections and feedback. You can even practice your speaking skills. Send recordings of yourself speaking to your teacher for feedback. In fact, one of the first things you'll have to do is write or record a self-introduction. Your teacher will send you corrections and advice on your pronunciation so that you can introduce yourself perfectly. Three, we personalize your learning experience based on your goals and needs. Just like with real language schools, the moment you join, you take an initial assessment test, which covers all areas, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. The goal is to understand your strengths and weaknesses, so your teacher can design a personalized learning plan just for you. Four, you get ongoing assessments and assignments. It's hard to motivate and push yourself to improve when you're learning on your own. It's much easier when you have a teacher to motivate you. So that's why your teacher sends you weekly assignments, which you'll find in the My Teacher Messenger. Inside your recommended learning pathway, you'll also see multiple choice assessments and hand graded assessments, which test you on the words and grammar rules you've learned in the prior lessons. And the hand-graded assessments are graded by real teachers, so you can get feedback on what you got wrong and how to improve. So, if you want to learn your target language faster with the Premium Plus plan, then click the link in the description right now. If you're learning the language with our lessons, did you know you also get a bonus study tool that lets you 1. Absorb conversations by reading along 2. Master grammar rules fast and three, review everything without redoing the lesson. You can do this all with the lesson notes inside of our learning program. But if you don't have access to our program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. So what are the lesson notes? The lesson notes are simply the written version of our audio and video lessons. Inside, you'll find one, the dialogue and the translations, two, the grammar rules for that lesson and the explanations, three, the lesson's vocabulary in sample sentences, and four, cultural insights for that lesson. You'll find the lesson notes in every lesson. You can also download the notes as PDFs and print them out. And there are three reasons why this basic study tool makes learning the language super easy. First, you get native conversation and translations in writing. 
Imagine listening to a conversation in real life. Native speakers speak fast, so you might not understand every single word. But if you have a transcript to follow along with, you can easily pick every word apart and start understanding what the native speakers say. And since you learn a new conversation in every lesson, that's exactly why you get our lesson notes for every lesson, so you can quickly grasp and understand native speech. Second, you can get in-depth grammar explanations and even more examples. One of the best ways to learn grammar is to get used to it through practice and lots of exposure. And with our audio and video lessons, you'll get the grammar rules explained. But if you want the extra exposure, check out the lesson notes for the extra review and even more examples that are not available in the lesson. And three, you can quickly review what you've learned without retaking a lesson. Again, one of the best ways to pick up a language is through repeated exposure, which means reviewing what you've learned as much as possible. But if you don't want to retake a lesson, then you can quickly review the lesson's dialogue, grammar, and vocabulary with the lesson notes. So if you want to learn the language faster, understand native conversations, and review the lesson content with a quick glance, then take advantage of the lesson notes, which you'll find in every lesson inside of our learning program. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.